TinyGS is a project that focuses on receiving data from satellites, mostly with the help of LoRa technology. Because the equipment is inexpensive, many people can do this and enjoy it. In this video, I'll explain how this system works and how you can get started delving into LoRa. Before we get into the topic, let's take a look at what Wikipedia says about LoRa. LoRa, which stands for Long Range, is a low-power, wide-area network communication method. It was made by Cyclio in Grenoble, France, using Chirp Spread Spectrum, CSS, technology. Later, Semtech bought Cyclio, and now owns the patent, and is a founding member of the LoRa Alliance. LoRa uses radio frequency bands that don't require a license, such as 433 MHz, 868 MHz in Europe, 915 MHz in Australia and North America, 865 MHz to 867 MHz in India, and 923 MHz in Asia. Its main benefit is that it can be used to send data over long distances while using little power. What makes it different for satellites to send and receive data? TinyGS is different not so much because of its idea, but because the hardware and software it needs are cheap and easy to find. You can set up a good system for less than $30, which isn't much, even though satellite communication has been possible for years. Like with the Iridium network that lets messages be sent all over the world, LoRa has a clear advantage. Iridium uses expensive modems and a lot of power to talk to satellites. LoRa, on the other hand, uses low-cost and low-power options to do the same thing. LoRa's ability to support long-range messages while using little power is the most important thing here. This makes it a great choice for satellites, which often have to work with limited energy. Higher power needs would require bigger batteries and larger solar panels to collect energy. On the other hand, Devices that use less energy can send data more often or use less energy overall, which makes them smaller. Here's where CubeSats come into play. CubeSats are small satellites, covering just 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters. They are cheap to launch and come in different sizes, from 0.3U to 6U. Most of the time, these satellites are put into low Earth orbit, LEO, which is not higher than 2,000 kilometers. This means that a full circle around the Earth takes less than 125 minutes. Most are about 500 kilometers above Earth and complete in orbit in about 90 minutes. That means each satellite can cover the entire Earth twice a day. At these heights, the amount of radiation is much lower than in geosynchronous equatorial orbit, GEO, which is where GPS satellites are located. This means that CubeSats can use gear that is already on the market, which lowers their costs even more. Hundreds of CubeSats have already been launched, and in the coming years, hundreds or even thousands more are expected. TinyGS started out as the SP-32 FOSA ground station project for the FOSA Sat-1 LoRa satellite in November 2019. This was a weekend project. The project was renamed TinyGS in February 2021, around the same time that new beta software came out. The network now works with FSK, GFSK, MSK, GMSK, LoRa, and OOK satellites and other things in the air that are compatible with the supported hardware, such as balloons. In the simplest form, people like yourself deploy ground stations. These ground stations continuously monitor the airwaves for satellite broadcasts. Once received, the data is sent to a MQTT server to be stored and decoded. The ground stations are simple, low-cost LoRa devices that can be bought at many stores. ESP32 processors with a LoRa module are almost all compatible. After flashing the device with TinyGS's custom software and setting it up, you're ready to go. You don't need to know how to code. Right now, only a few satellites, like Norby and Fees, are being watched. Around 436 MHz, they send out LoRa messages. There are very few satellites operating on the 915 MHz spectrum, so I would suggest you start with 433. There are very few satellites operating on the 915 MHz spectrum. So I would suggest you start with 433. The firmware inside your ground station will automatically track the satellites overhead and adjust the frequency for Doppler shifts. All you need to do is provide internet access and mount the ground station outside. People often ask, so what? It's mostly about having fun and learning about things like satellites, data transmission, LoRa, space challenges, and much more. There are so many options. To get started, you just need to purchase one of the supported receivers, install the software on your computer, and flash the new firmware on your device. Once complete, you can join the Telegram community and register your ground station. You can use the stock antenna 
or look at the countless designs the community has come up with. Visit tinygs.com to find everything you need for getting started with this project, such as lessons and FX.